Douglas will be speaking about School Tool. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to begin my presentation apologizing for my English. It's not my native language, and it's not very good, but I'll try my best. It's not my native language because I come from El Salvador in Central America. Uh, it's the place where I've lived the, the last 34 years, obviously. And I work for this project, the project that changed my life. It's called a School Tool, and the goal of the project is to develop uh, an application. This is a Python application, right? And it's a free and open source student information system that it's intended to be used in any school around the world. Uh, it's licensed under the GPL version 2 license, and it's, it was funded uh, in 2003 by the Shudderworth Foundation. It is still being funded by the Shudderworth Foundation. And we, because of that, the Shudderworth Foundation, owned by Mark Shudderworth, uh, we work very close with uh, the distribution of uh, Linux called Ubuntu. And we have uh, a core development team of four five people, and two from USA, two from Lithuania, and one from El Salvador. And over time, we have, we have had like 20, around 20 contributors uh, 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 based on the history of the code base, right? Uh, I just wanted to share with you the technology we use for a school tool. It is a lot of Python. Uh, we use uh, Python 2.7. Uh, I, I always have trouble with this word, SOAP toolkit, uh, because you also have a SOAP when you shower, right? And we use the CODV uh, as a storage mechanism, and we use the SOAP catalog to query the database. We use Launchpad and BCR as our development platform because as I said I said I just said that we are very aligned with Ubuntu and Ubuntu uses Launchpad also. And we use uh, CC build out and virtual environment for creating our sandboxes. We use Buildbot for continuous integration. And for testing we use the sub test runner. Uh, we have created a custom uh, functionality that integrates Selenium's web driver with doc tests. Uh, for reports, we use ReportLab to produce PDF files. And uh, we use also, well, this is kind of new. We're t we are starting to use um, Celery, Bottle, and Redis, and uh, CEO in order to get some kind of uh, redundancy and some kind of background processing. And for the UI, we use jQuery, uh, jQuery UI. And the features of a school tool, well, every, what every school information system provides, uh, you can track students, teachers, administrators, clerks, you can have profiles, you can have courses, sections, enrollments, and Basically, what you need in a school, or in order to manage a school, right? You also have tools for the teachers, like gradebooks and journal, attendance journals. And the most cool features in a school tool, I think, it is uh, the competency tracker. You can uh, track a student skills, and you have also interventions when you ha have to take actions into behavior of the students, right? A more features that we have, it is com almost complete, if you can say that, internationally said. Uh, we have integration with Moodle and LAMS. Uh, we also have, well, this was uh, developed by, a, uh, by an Australian company, an integration between uh, SMS gateway and a school tool. And we have integration with the sugar uh, of the OLPC system. Uh, uh, we have uh, interactive assessment uh, of SVG charts using the D3 library from JavaScript. 
And we have a, another old, other features, right? Uh, this is the countries that I have known that use a school tool, the ones that I interact with, a lot of places, Latin America. And these are some reference. I would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity, and it's been a pleasure to be here.